Hey everybody, I'm going to show you how you can uh, get a remote desktop for your Raspberry Pi on a computer like a PC, one that you might be more familiar with. So uh, what I do is I log into my Raspberry Pi using a program called Putty. And you can download that from the internet. And what that does is if you know the IP address for your Raspberry Pi, it allows you to log into it. So there we go, I've logged into it. Um, this is the IP address that I, I know my Pi has. This is the IP address that I'm accessing this from. So um, the program that we use is called XRDP. You need to install that on your Raspberry Pi. And the way you do that is you type in sudo apt get install XRDP. That is a um, open source remote access that gives you access to a guided user interface on your Raspberry Pi. I've already installed this on my Raspberry Pi, so um, obviously what you saw here was not a lot of activity. If you were installing it for the first time, there'd be a lot more activity, and you would want to reboot your Raspberry Pi after doing this. So it's installed right now, so let's see if I can see the remote desktop. So the way I do that is I go down to my little start button, I go to all programs, go to accessories, and I go to remote desktop connection. Again, that's the address for the computer I'm going to connect to. It's going to ask me for a login and password. This would be the same login and password that you typically use to get into your Raspberry Pi um, in a very unsecure way. Mine are still the default. So it's going through and doing all the little checks it needs to do before it totally connects me. And there we go. This is the Raspberry Pi. As you can see, I have Scratch up there. And if I blow this up to uh, full screen, I can see that there it is. This looks just like the desktop I would expect to see on my Raspberry Pi. And this little blue bar up here allows me to toggle between this and my actual PC. So if I uh, restore it down a little bit, then I can go back and see everything that's there. And I can control anything on here like I normally would, like I had Scratch open when this first popped open, and I can open it up again. This is anything I could do in my Raspberry Pi, I can do from the comfort of a computer that I'm maybe more comfortable and more familiar with. In a lot of instances, you're going to be working with your Raspberry Pi without a monitor dedicated to it. And this is a great way to interface with it while you're not using a monitor. I hope you've enjoyed this, and uh, I'll be posting more videos like this soon. Isn't that a cute little scratch cat? I sure think so.